The Nintendo Switch does get South Park Snow Day while PlayStation 4 and Xbox do not. Sort of like how Mortal Kombat 1 was. So should you get South Park Snow Day on your Nintendo Switch and how does it compare to the more powerful Series X and PlayStation 5? Anytime a cross-platform game comes to the Switch, I usually prefer it on Nintendo's portable console and South Park Snow Day is no exception. The game's pretty much the exact same experience on Switch as you get on the more powerful Xbox or PlayStation with of course a few visual differences as expected the graphics are toned down on the switch even though this isn't really a graphical masterpiece of a game it almost looks like a mobile game still Xbox and PlayStation provide a lot more detail and run closer to 4k resolution while Nintendo switch runs between 720p and 1080p with significantly less details the amount of snow particles falling the shadow quality all of that is of course all toned down on the switch now for a game like this i don't think the difference really matters and when you're playing on a small squid screen that's only capable of 720p i mean you're really not going to notice or really care for that difference another difference is the field of view which is a bit larger on xbox and playstation compared to the switch these overlays clearly show that difference the higher field of view does help you during combat of course the biggest difference is perhaps the performance the frame rate on nintendo switch the game's 30 fps while xbox and playstation 5 get 60 fps it's the same frame rate during gameplay and cutscenes and in both cases the frame rates really locked i didn't really notice any significant drops on nintendo switch from the 30 fps and ps5 and series x of course have really no trouble handling this light game at 60 fps south park snow day is the action adventure think of it like a light roguelike co-op is a big part of this game i know ign gave it a three out of ten it's actually not that bad i would say it's at least a six or a seven out of ten especially at its 30 dollar price tag now the game is short it's only about four to five hours to complete and there's very little incentive to replay the chapters what makes this game fun is when you team up with three other buddies to run through it there is public public matchmaking so you can join that if you don't have many friends there is no cross-platform play here so it might be a bit hard to find public lobbies on nintendo switch the switch does also get local co-op now that's not local as in on a single console it's more of a console link co-op where you and a buddy can sit in the same room with your own consoles each and play the combat and gameplay here is decent it can get repetitive but there's a decent progression system and a few weapon types to keep things fresh i normally skip cutscenes in games but not with south park snow day if you're a fan of the series then the cutscenes do provide the chuckles you're used to from the series overall this is a game for those that are south park fans as i said it's not a 3 out of 10 like ign claims it's at least a 6 out of 10 so it's playable but not a must have and because the game's not too graphically intense i prefer perfectly recommend getting it on the switch if you are gonna pick it up i think having that option to play it on the go is a bonus for the rest of the video check out some more gameplay of south park snow day with that fps counter shown you didn't beat me fat ass the new kid did and who are those other three kids they were playing with oh those were the other new kids they all think they're the actual new kid but you're the only new kid that matters right new kid honestly those other new kids are all total boners right butters yeah. <laughs> Why did you attack my fucking base? Attack your base? Ha! Huh? Are you denying that you were gearing up your entire army to attack our fucking base? Yeah. What? Says who? Says Clyde! Yeah. And do you always trust what Clyde says? Hell no! Clyde's a total dumbass! Yeah! God damn it, you guys! We are gearing up to attack someone else! Someone who I think is a real, actual threat to our town! Who? Don't you think it's strange? A snowstorm this big? In one weekend? Have you ever seen anything like it? What are you suggesting, Elf? It isn't natural. I think that someone has cast a level 10 endless winter spell. Well, that kind of magic has been outlawed ever since the new kid ruined the last game by farting backwards in time.
all the time, you get a nice Miss Dickie. Ah. Damn it! I'm dead. 